Welcome everyone from all over the world. Thank you so much for joining me. On this segment, we're talking about the power of the small screen. The power of the small screen. The story is told about a man by the name of Cornelius. And his story is found in the book of Acts from chapter 10 from verse 1. And this is what it says. At Caesarea, there was a man by the name of Cornelius, a centurion in what was known as the Italian regiment. He and all his family were devout, God-fearing. He gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly. One day at about three in the afternoon, he had a vision. He distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord, he asked. The angel answered, listen to this. Your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. I love that. A memorial offering before God. See, a memorial is something established to remember a person or an event. Cornelius, he is a devout man. He's a God-fearing man. He is a generous man. He probably, in the corner of the world where he was from, had no idea that his actions had so much impact. They were so significant to God that God established a memorial to them. He so honored, so valued what Cornelius was doing, his devotion, his being God-fearing, and his generosity to the poor, that he established a memorial to remember Cornelius and what Cornelius was doing. The story is told about a woman by the name of Natalia Dimitruk. She was a former sign language interpreter who worked at the Ukrainian National State Television. On November 24, 2004, Ukraine had just received its presidential election results. And she, Natalia, appeared at the bottom of the TV because she was a sign language interpreter. She would appear in a small screen at the bottom of the television. Now, when the announcer was announcing the results, um, it indicated that the incumbent president had won those elections. What Natalia did was so astounding, so changing, so impactful, that it completely transformed the trajectory of Ukraine. What she did is she took a stand for the truth. And instead of signing the uh, what the announcer was announcing, she signed to the deaf community and said, all the results you're hearing are false and they are lies and I, we know that the opposition has won the elections. Her actions of defiance were so brave that they inspired other journalists to take a stand and they did. And as a result of other journalists taking a stand, they refused to uh, announce this fraudulent election results. What happened as a result of their actions is protests were sparked all across the country. Massive protests in what was later came to be known as the Orange Revolution. There were so many people on the streets protesting the results of those elections that the Ukrainian Supreme Court overturned those elections and called for other elections. And wouldn't you know, the opposition candidate that Natalia had said had actually won, won those elections. What happened in that nation of Ukraine? One person whose job was to appear at the bottom of a screen in a small screen, took a stand for what was right, took a stand for the truth, and by doing so, their actions were so significant and so powerful, they inspired a whole nation. Not only did they inspire a whole nation, they changed the trajectory of a whole nation. 
What am I saying? Change the world by being faithful in your small screen. The world is a big screen and you are the small screen within that big screen. Change the big screen, the world, by being faithful in your small screen. Your life is a small screen. The world is a big screen. To have an impact on the big screen, which is the world, be faithful in your small screen. As Natalia was faithful in her small screen and her actions impacted a, a whole generation, a whole nation, that is exactly what God expects of you and expects of me. Change the big screen, the world, by being faithful in your small screen. The power of the small screen. My friends, you in Christ is the highest expression of you. The essence of who you are created to be. That we may decrease so that he may increase. If you have no idea what God wants you to do, if you don't know that, uh, the path that God wants you to do, to take. All you have to do in the meantime, while you try to figure out what God wants you to do, be devoted like Cornelius was. Be God-fearing like Cornelius was. Be generous as he was. Take a stand like Natalia did for what she believed. She was a sign language interpreter who appeared at the bottom of screen in a small screen, but that small screen changed the whole nation. People who never used to pay attention to that small screen paid attention and changed a whole country. God has a plan for you and for me, regardless of the circumstances of our lives. If we are faithful like Cornelius was, by being God-fearing, being generous, being a devout man, God is going to reveal to us what the purpose is for our lives. And he's going to ordain our steps. He is going to lead us. He is going to make us become what he ordained us to be. You have a purpose regardless of the circumstances of your life. Thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, I, uh, I'm honored and I thank you so much. Um, if you uh, uh, are blessed by this uh, word, just share this video, uh, subscribe to this channel, and um, until I see you again, uh, take care. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord uh, cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, the Lord cause his face to turn towards you and give you peace. Thank you, shalom, God bless you.